Paddleboarding and kayaking is a great way to discover nature. This short spine sea urchin is harmless and can be found all over the coastal waterways of Lemon Bay and Stump Pass Beach State Park. Thorny sea stars are sometimes referred to as common sea stars as they are commonly found in our coastal waterways. They're most likely found on oyster beds and in seagrass flats. This sea star is on a mission and moving quickly along a seagrass flat in Lemon Bay. Sea anemones are like a marine flower waiting for the food to come to them. Banded tulips are a type of marine snail, which are referred to as gastropods. Other gastropods include the lightning whelk, horse conch, and fighting conch. These species of marine snails mate and then leave behind an egg casing, which holds hundreds of their newborn eggs. Each species of gastropod lays a distinctive shape for their egg casing. The banded tulip lays its eggs in triangular segments. Seen here, one is growing on top of a lightning whelk egg casing. So how do you tell the difference between the lightning whelk and the banded tulip egg casing? You have to start by looking at the segments and the shapes of each one. The lightning whelk roots its egg casing into the ground where the banded tulip prefers to lay its eggs on top of resting surfaces. The lightning whelk is Florida's second largest gastropod in our waterways. It's also Florida's only left-handed shell. This shell can grow to be over 16 inches and 20 years old. Another example of the lightning whelk egg casing is seen here. This spirally design is sometimes referred to as a mermaid's necklace. Each one of these circular pods holds 30 to 50 lightning whelk eggs. This information was presented by Nicole Myers-Pandolfi, Florida Master Naturalist and owner of Sup Anglewood.